Okay, so this is a little follow on from uh, the video from yesterday. So we were doing a leak down test and uh, we identified that there was a leak coming from the power valve assembly. Uh, I'd put new seals in there and everything like that. Anyway, so I took it apart today and then I noticed that there's a little, uh, a little steel collar that goes in uh, where the seal is. Um, and I noticed that the leaking was coming from the inside of that. It's kind of a difficult to explain, I suppose, without you showing, uh, showing it you, which maybe I should have done. Uh, but basically on the back of that, there should be an O-ring and there was no O-ring there. And there's no, there was no O-ring in the top end rebuild kit either for it. Uh, so anyway, so uh, I found it on the microfish uh, and I've put an O-ring in and that's stopped the power valve from leaking. So now I'm trying, so now we're still losing pressure uh, not very much, but still losing pressure. So I've been working my way around and this is the uh, ignition side stator seal. And so hopefully you'll be able to see as I put some pressure in. Can you see that little bubble there? Yeah, see that that is the crank seal leaking so and the crank doesn't look very good uh, it's a bit rusty on this side now uh, from looking at it from the top end view it did look as though um, it had had a new rod and stuff like that but definitely this side is a bit rusty so anyway uh, it's gonna need a new state aside crank seal uh, for definite, now I've sprayed that. To, <laughs> now I've sprayed that grease on it. It's uh, it's stopped the leak, but it won't stop it forever. Uh, so yeah, it's going to need a new crank seal, state side crank seal at least. Um, so we'll get that done and then uh, carry on, carry on working through to see whether we can discover our non-starting problem. I mean that would cause an issue. Would it stop it starting? Possibly. Um, I have a feeling there's something else wrong. Uh, and I have a feeling that the other thing that is wrong is, I've explained previously, uh, it's a 1992 bottom end. It's a 1989 barrel. It's a 1990 head. So between 1989 and 1990, the stroke so the rod length has changed um, on the engine. So I tried a 1989 piston, but the piston hit the head. And I'm now wondering if the head's going to need machining down to uh, reduce the squish. Uh, cause maybe the compression ratio is not quite good enough. It's getting a good, it's getting a good reading of uh, compression on my compression tester, but maybe it's the ratio, maybe it's just not compressing that fuel and air mix enough uh, to make it to, to make it go bang. So a few things uh, and I'll um, I'll do another video on, on, on that and I'll probably do that before the before the crank seal um, replacement because um, it's something I can do without waiting for a part. Anyway there we go we found our uh, found our leak I think so we'll uh, so we'll crack on. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search Phoenix Motos.